Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I've been working on my fluke and came up with an idea. I need to slightly alter my mold and make some additional parts, but I don't have any plaster and it's a lot of polymer clay to use. So here's the question we're gonna try and answer today. Will silicone react with plasticine? And can we make simple emergency molds using plasticine and use it to alter my existing mold? Now before we start, I just wanted to let you know that I have an Instagram account that I recently started posting on, so if you'd like to see the behind the scenes in between my uploads, go follow me at passionfruitdiy1, and if you have any mermaid creations you'd like to share with me, feel free to tag me in your posts or comments. Now let's get into the video. I'm going to use two different brands of plasticine. This first one I got in Greece a few years ago, and it's very smooth and has almost like a waxy feel to it. I'm going to take some plasticine and I'm going to press one of my scale shapes into it. This is a simple method if you already have a hard shape you want to recreate. I pressed it straight into the plasticine so I had some issues pulling it away but using a sculpting tool and pressing the shape again helped a lot. This next brand of plasticine is from Hobbycraft, and it feels more like plasticine I used to play with when I was younger. This time I brushed down some cornstarch before pushing my shape into it. I also pinched the mold to see how the shape can be altered. For this last piece, I went back to the first brand of plasticine. I decided to try and create the shape by sculpting the mold, so create like a negative version of the thing I want to achieve. This could get quite tricky though, so it's best for simple shapes. The silicone I'm using is marine safe silicone in clear. As always, I will be using some of my Arteza mica powders to add color and this cool pearlescent effect, and a few drops of acrylic paint to help silicone cure. So I made the shapes and mixed up some silicone. I carefully applied the silicone to the plasticine mold, and left it to cure for a few hours. In my experience, this mixture of silicone takes about 3-4 to four hours to fully cure, so I will check up on them then. Just for comparison purposes, I used the same batch of silicone in my regular polymer clay molds. If you'd like to see how I make them, the video will be linked in the description. So it's been a few hours and let's see if anything happened. I started out with my control group of regular molds and they turned out okay. They were not the best batch ever but it's just because of my sloppy application. For my plasticine molds they turned out fine. There were no issues with curing time. The first brand of plasticine left some residue on my scale, but again, I didn't use cornstarch or any mold release, and it washed off with warm water. Second brand worked out well too. Not perfect, but that's my application again. And the mold was left with no damage, so I believe it could be reused a few times. The random freestyle shape turned out, um, okay, I guess. <laughs> Same as the first scale when it comes to the residue. So 
here on the left, we have the scale from the plasticine mold and on the right from the polymer clay mold. The biggest difference is the finish. My clay molds are glazed with resin and the plasticine mold was of course matte. Overall, I think this experiment was rather successful, but remember, the type of silicone you're using and the plasticine brand might affect your results, so do your own samples first. Now let me show you the reason for trying this out. I'm working on my fluke at the moment, but I want the back of it to be more flat, so I altered the shape of my mold using plasticine. I covered it with the same pigment as the rest of the mold and casted my silicone in it. If you'd like to see the results, make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at passionfordiy one for some exclusive behind the scenes. And that is it for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you in my next one, bye!